God, her breath is stinky. Are you stinky? It smells like dead fish. Oh, no. Good morning, guys. So we are dedicated to a legitimately old school actually vlogging <laughs> all day today. Ending it today, vlogging during the day, sharing what we do today, being actual vloggers. You're making fun of me? I am making fun of you. <laughs> anyway, we um, made it out of the house today. So far, Melissa went to the gym. I just edited the vlog for yesterday and Melissa picked up Starbucks on her way back. I got my Frappuccino. What did you get? It's coffee with mocha. Oh, yum. Is it good? Yeah. Cool. And now we are heading out to Ikea because um, one of the major things that Melissa was asking for for her birthday this year was um, contributions basically towards a patio set. And so we have one picked out from Ikea that we really want to get that is actually on sale through today, which is excellent. So we are going to pick that up and we're very excited. And it's Ikea. It? And it's Ikea and that's, you know, our number one choice for date night. So. <laughs> Alright, so we actually stopped at Nally Fresh and I got their like basic noodle bowl with grilled chicken and I got it without roasted peppers but I also added pumpkin seeds and then what did you get? Nally Fiesta wrap and a cup of chicken tortilla soup. Yum yum. Alright, so we made a couple stops after Nally Fresh. First we ran into Target because a couple of the clothing items I got Melissa she wanted to exchange for like a different size and so I think you got the same, did you end up getting the same colors and stuff yes. of everything? Yeah, just different sizes. Um, and then we went to Best Buy to, again, kind of just scope out the situation with some of the smart home stuff. We also found a, what's the Nest outdoor camera, outdoor camera on like a really good um, super sale today at another place. We wanted to see if they would price match so we could get it like in person rather than getting it shipped to us. Unfortunately, they do not price match. The... I already ordered it though. It was free shipping too, so. Nice, cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just like so we wouldn't have had to wait for yeah. it to ship, you know which is just always nicer. But um, yeah, they didn't price match, which is unfortunate, so we'll just have to wait a couple of days. But now we are finally on to the main mission of the day. We're heading to Ikea. Yep. Favorite place on earth. Yep. Screw Disney World. Ikea is the happiest place on earth. <laughs> and Target. Yeah. Target's happiest place. I yeah, like I would say Target and Ikea. Target, Ikea, Best Buy. That's, that's the official list, guys. <laughs> so, I don't want to say Ikea was a complete bust, but it definitely got kind of complicated. So we got there, and so the deal was it's 20% off, like all the Aplara furniture, and so obviously everyone, it's like the beginning of summer, a lot of people wanted to take advantage of that deal, and so we were able to get the table that we wanted just fine. Where are you going? You just trying to turn around? We're we wanted, we got the table that we wanted just fine, but they were out of stock of the bench and the two chairs that we wanted to get to pull up to the table. So originally we were just like, okay, fine, we'll go home and order it online because we just wanted to make sure that we took advantage of the sale. And so, yeah, we were planning on just ordering it tonight so we could still get the sale price. Um, but then we got home and apparently, like, they were out of stock online. Is that what the deal yeah. was? Yeah, they were out of stock online. So then we went back to the store because originally when we were first there, we were talking to the guy because I wanted to make sure that they really were out of stock and there wasn't something, like, you know, in the back or whatever. And he had started to tell us um, that we could kind of, like, come back when they're in stock and get the sale price and so we went back to kind of get all the official like he, he had like someone I probably assume like a manager or something sign off saying that this has been approved so basically like tomorrow we have to call make sure they're in stock and then go through like an order online and like select click and click and pick up or something yeah something like that I don't know why we need to call though because just to make sure that they're in stock where they are. Yeah, but if they're not in stock, then you wouldn't be able to order it online. Whether that's it's calling is not yeah. going to do anything. I'm just going to order it online. That's true. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyways, basically, we will be able to get them at the sale price. We'll have to buy it at full price online, but then when we go pick it up in stores, they'll price change it for us so that we do get the stuff we want at the sale price, which is really nice. So we just didn't get it all today. They're not going Where are you there. going? Hi, Nutball. We have a weird dog. Anyways, as you can tell, we went back home and picked up this little 
lunatic. And we are now on our way to my parents' house. Um, my sister and her boyfriend are in town for the weekend. Her breath is stinky. Are you stinky? It smells like dead fish. Oh, no. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we are heading over there for dinner. Hey, guys. So remember how I promised that I was going to end the vlog on the same day that I started it? <laughs> so obviously it's the next day. We got home from my parents' house really late and just needed to go to bed. So... I'm sorry, but this crazy weekend is finally over. I'm so excited. It's back to like a normal, like just chill week where we don't have to like run around and go anywhere. So yeah, we can finally get back to normal. <laughs> so dinner last night was really, really good. We had, let's see, what did we have? We had like some sort of grilled chicken and onions. I don't remember what was like on them, but my dad grilled them. We also had like some rice. I feel like she said it was tikka masala sauce on the rice with like slivered almonds which is so good it's so good like the kind of contrast between like i want to say mushy rice but it's not like mushy it's just that's the best way i can like describe it and then you know kind of like crunchy slivers of almond in there it's like a really nice contrast i really really love that and then we had a oh my god the salad was so good so it was like sliced cucumbers tomatoes onions like red onions and then feta cheese, and I assume she put some sort of, like, um, dressing or something on the veggies, but I don't remember what it was, but it was so good. I ate, like, four servings of that. It was so good. Um, and then, yeah, we just kind of hung out for the evening. Like I said, my sister and her boyfriend were in town. Um, they live in Philly? I always get their city wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Philly. Um, and then... Yeah, and then we just hung out. We did. We all made a really interesting discovery, which you guys are all going to, like, probably judge us, and I'm probably going to get yelled at for sharing this with the internet. But after we were all a couple of glasses in, we discovered that Oreos dunked in red wine, not as disgusting as it sounds, actually pretty good. And I'm not even a red wine drinker. And it was, like, a nice, like, it kind of added a nice little, like, zing and zest to the Oreos. <laughs> and like saying this out loud it just seems like it's like okay really how many glasses of wine were you in but like it was really good actually it was kind of funny so that's our new business idea we're gonna open an oreo dunking wine bar <laughs> but um other than that i do have a couple things to show you so first of all i can show you the shirt that i got at target yesterday because while melissa was uh exchanging all of her things i picked up a clearance shirt so I'm just gonna set you down there because I'm not gonna be able to really hold things up and show you, but it's this really cute shirt. I've been loving the Universal Thread new line that they have at Target. It's just, I like, I'm loving all of their things. So I hope you can see that. Yeah, so I think you can see it. So it's just this kind of loose, flowy t-shirt and it's short and like it has a little, you know, tie up in the front and then the back is a little longer and then the sleeves are really cute they're kind of like faux rolled up and then has like buttons down the front i just think it's like a super super cute shirt but it's also so comfortable and soft like this is just going to be so nice to throw on and wear when i want to look a little more put together but i also just want to be comfortable so yeah and i got it for 12.58 so that's awesome what was it originally 17.99 so yeah pretty good discount on that and I'm really excited. And then also while we were at my parents, I was sent home with a couple of things. So my parents are kind of like, you know, I guess paring down their collection of stuffs and like, because they also got a big influx of nicer things from my grandmother. And so they're kind of just, you know, divvying out things that they no longer want to hold on to or, you know, no longer need. So we were sent home with a few things, which I'm very excited about. All right, so first of all, my dad got my mom a new silver butter dish for Christmas. And um, I think this, uh, how it went that is that he like was bidding on a couple on eBay and ended up winning like three of them. And so my sister and I each got sent home with a silver butter dish. And this is the one that I got. I think it's super pretty. It says English silver on the bottom. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. It needs to be polished up a little on the inside. But I think it'll go really nice with the other silver pieces that we have in our collection so far. And yeah, it's just cute. I really like the little handle on top. And so... That's what that guy looks like. And then I also got sent home with this guy. It's just a little like ceramic, I think, um, or porcelain or something, um, painted rooster from Portugal that my grandparents actually got while they were in Portugal. And so I thought he would be cute to kind of, you know, just set around somewhere. And I just think it's, it's super pretty, just like the detail and, you know, colors. So 
yeah, we got that guy. And then finally, we got this little set of um, rabbit salt and pepper shakers that, again, my late grandmother um, got for my parents a little bit ago. There was two sets. My sister got one, and I got the other one. And so we got those guys. And then my mom was also just getting rid of a bunch of earrings that she doesn't wear anymore. And so my sister and I, again, went through them and picked out some that we would like. And so I'm really excited because these, like, are a huge part. Hold on, shoot, it's focusing on the wrong part. All right, there, I'll show you guys on my phone, but it's actually focused on the earrings instead of the Scrabble board. But yeah, so these are like Christmas earrings and they actually, well, I can't hear it if I'm holding it. They actually jingle. And so I totally remember my mom wearing these like a lot around Christmas time and they're like, Kind of obnoxious, kind of awesome, but I definitely, like, they have so many memories attached to me for them, so I knew I definitely wanted to keep those, so I'm really excited I got those as well. And then I got a couple little sets of cute little pearl earrings, and you guys know I have those dangly pearl earrings that, like, um, I wear all, all the time, but they're starting to get, like, a little old, and they irritate my ears when I put them in. And so I'm excited to have, like, kind of some. These are pretty similar. They're not, obviously, the exact same style, but they're kind of that, you know, just dangly drop, really simple style that the other ones are. So I'm excited to have another set of those. And then I just thought these were really cute with the little like kind of blue detail at the top. I just think they're really cute and sweet. And I like how they're set up on that hoop. I just don't think that's like a design you see all that often. So I think it's super cute. All right, next up I have these guys. It's just kind of a cute little simple tiny blue stone. And then these I thought were cute. They have like little kind of... um ribbons tied above again a little red like stone type thing I guess you'd call it and then finally got a couple set a set of studs these are just like cute little gold hearts that have some kind of sorry if it's not focusing this is really difficult to show you these tiny little things but um yeah just kind of some crushed like crystally type things um inside the heart with a tiny little gold dot in the center if you can see that there's also these cute little Christmas bows, which I again thought would be really festive and fun to wear around the holidays. There are these, which are sapphires and then just um, crystals around the side. Like, uh, I'm not, I, the word. So sorry about that, I got interrupted. We actually have like a, not an exterminator, but like a pest control people coming. And so he showed up while I was filming that. So, but I think I was pretty much done. I think you saw all of the fun cute little earrings that I got from my mom um and yeah I think that's all I got for you guys so I'm gonna wrap things up I hope you enjoyed the vlog give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already I would love to have you following along and I'll see you guys tomorrow good night mm -hmm.